Silver Christmas time on the river. Wait a minute. Oh, yeah. That's it. Right there. Mm. 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 Try that. Floating. It's a holiday flavor. It's uh, like an eggnog. Fish love it. It's good stuff. I'm gonna get a couple more here. That one's got schnapps in it. That'll warm you up on a cold day. Here, yeah. that. Oh yeah. That's schnapps. Oh wait, no, that's act. Yeah, that's regular. Yeah, you shouldn't drink that. That'll make you sick. The Real Adventures of Fly Fishing Expert Hank Patterson. Your fly fishing guide. Hi, I'm Hank Patterson, frozen yogurt franchisee, world renowned fly fishing expert and guide. This naughty little elf right here, this is my client, Reese, and this is Hank Patterson's holiday extravaganza. We're gonna have music, we're gonna have dancing, we might even have a special little guest. <laughs> okay, we're not gonna have a guest, but we're gonna have music and we're gonna have dancing, so let's get it started. It's the most wonderful time for a beer. The wife's cat are wallin', the children are bawlin', I need me a beer. It's the most wonderful time to be drunk. If this winter weather's got you in a funk, grab a PBR and then go and get drunk. Reese! It's the most wonderful time to black out. If the river is frozen, not nary a trout. Go and get drunk and go and black out. It's the most wonderful time for a scotch. Okay, hold on. See, at the end of that, I wanted like this, you know, like a big. Okay, well, these, here, get that for me, would you? For us, yeah, just, 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 a scotch. Diddly, diddly. Oh, all right. Hey, look at that. That is nice. That is. Okay. Make a lot of noise, does it? All right. All right. I'm good at this, so. Huh. Got a little nine foot lightweight gift, huh? Okay. Don't tell me. Just don't. I don't. Because I like to try to. Really figure it out. Or just tell me where you bought it, and then I could, you know. What? The, bah, bah, bah. Don't do that. Don't actually don't don't. I do this every year. I'm like, okay, where'd you buy? And then I guess it, you know. And I don't want to. I don't want to guess it. Let's just sort of put that under the tree and find out on Christmas morning. You know what I mean? How much did you pay for it? Just I mean a ballpark like what you. Okay, okay. Yeah, I got you. I got you. loose lips, right? See, I was in the mall the other day. That sucked. Went in there to talk to Santa. You know, get up on his lap. You know, I broke my fly rod a couple weeks ago. So I thought, you know, I'll go down to the mall. I'll, you know, get in with the big man. Hop up on his lap. Just, hey, just need a new fly rod. I haven't asked for anything in years. Right? So I thought, you know, hey, I deserve a little something, something. Go down to the mall, hop on his lap. Bada boom, bada bing. Hey, I need a new fly rod. Ho, 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 all right. I'll hook you up. Instead, he refuses to see me. He big times me. Sends his little uh, henchman elves out there to escort me out of the mall. Next thing I know, I got three or four elves hanging off me, pulling me out of the mall. Oh, you can't see Santa Claus. I'm sorry, he doesn't know who you are. Oh, really? He knew who I was in 97 when I put him on those steelhead. Now, I need a new fly rod. I need to hop up on the lap and talk to him about a fly rod. He ain't got time. Oh, you don't have time? That ain't right. That ain't right. You probably thought I stiffed you, like I did last year. 
That is for you. Huh? Open it up. Go hurry up. Open it up. There it is. Yeah. All right. I was going to wrap it, but I didn't have any newspaper. Those are my holiday flies. Okay? Look here, right here. Oh, right there. Look at that. See that? A shot of that? Right there? That right there is a mistletoe muddler midge. Chet's nuts. Chet's nuts. Like the song, like the Christmas song, right? Little candy cane. You know what that imitates? Candy cane. That's why they call it that. Now you look at that and you might think, oh, there's a little morgy, a little holiday morgy. Well, that's disgusting. It's the holidays, okay? Clear your mind. That is a little holiday parade. Mistletoe coming down the lane. Huh? They go up there for a little lip lock, right? A little, a little French. Bam! Two fish right there. Chet's nuts roasting on an open flame. Chet's nuts are tickling his nose. Dee 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 ba ba da something something blah blah. Chet's nuts, Chet's nuts. Merry Chet's nuts. You've heard that, right? Chet's nuts. Popular song. Reindeer hair caddis. I got about eight of those. Missile toad. Little missile toad. Bottle rocket? Head of a toad. You want to know when you use that? Spring. Bass fishing. Little popper. That pops. Frosty the fish catcher. They see that thing coming down the river. They're like, oh man, a snowman. And they go up and they're like, hey, all right, Merry Christmas, wham. Rip your lip right off. Midge, 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 midge. Little holiday parade. It's like, oh, Santa's coming right up after this, right? You know what you do with that? A little sugar plum dropper. You get yourself into bad weather? Need I say more? When I met that man, he was a fly fisherman. He's out there. He's doing it all wrong. He's out there, he's, you know, just like all these other guys. He's right here. He's right here. You seen that belly? That bowl full of jelly? Have you seen that thing? He is not using You got to use that. If you've got that, you use it. That's what I told him. I said, here's why you're not catching any fish. Okay? You're doing this. Use that belly. Get, give me that. You get into that, right? So I got him, I got him. He's like back here. You got to use that thing, right? That comes back. He's got about 800 pounds of belly, right? So I get him right here, and I'm like, you get that belly get back there, and then you get that thing forward, and you get it back here, and then you get that thing forward like that. You got to snap it. You got to snap that thing. All right, I've seen you on those reindeer. Right, just snapping it right on their backs. Pull that belly back like that, right? And then you use that velocity of that thing coming forward, and you get a good snap. Right, so a guy like that, he's right here and here. He's like here and here. All right, now that, that's, that's what Santa Claus should look like when he's casting a fly line. Guy like you, little skinny dude, right? You gotta like just use your arm, and really get that thing going like that. But you don't have a belly. You should eat more. I go in there to sit on his lap, ask him for a fly rod, and he can't see me. Okay. It's an emotional experience. Have a man turn his back on you like that. You know how many years of cookies I set out for that man? Milk and cookies every year. And hey, I'm not talking store-bought, I'm not Oreos. Homemade cookies, whole milk every year. Homemade cookies every year. I'm leaving them out for him. He's coming down, he's eating free cookies. Now it comes time for me to go hop on his lap, ask him for something for the first time in years, by the way. And he has me escorted out of the mall. That is bullshit, my friend. Anyway. Looks like I'm gonna have to try to save up and buy my own fly rod. Randolph the Red Fin Rain Brown was a very shiny trout. And if you ever saw him, you'd know what I'm talking about. Oh, now I see what you're talking about. All of the other Rain Browns used to laugh and call him names. Like, hey, you turkey. They never let poor Randolph join in any Rain Brown games. Like tag or lacrosse or one, two, three, four, I declare a fin war. And then one foggy fishmas eve, Santa Trout came to say, Randolph, with your fin so bright, won't you guide my boat tonight? Then how the Rain Browns loved him, as they shouted out with glee, Glee! Randolph, the Red Fin Rain Brown, you'll go down in fish story. Pretty song, huh? Oh yeah. It's made for my voice. More of a tenor.
a tenor timbre to my voice. The song is Tailor Made. I couldn't do it though, Reese. I'll be honest with you. Just forgive and forget like that, like Randolph. Here's all these other trout. All these rain browns making fun of him year after year. You can't join in on the game, calling him names. And then one night, wow, hey, we need you now. We need you now. Oh, now you're a part of the gang. Now that there's some fog and you're glowing the dark fins, they're going to lead the boat down to the children fish for their gifts and stuff. And uh, I'm so what? He's supposed to just forgive them? He's just supposed to forgive them in that instant. Oh, hey, don't know. Never mind the years of ridicule. Never mind all that. Just, hey, yeah, now that you need me. Forgive and forget. Maybe that's what the song's all about, really. Tis the season, right? Reconciliation. Forgive and forget. Goodwill to man. Treat others as you want them to treat you. That's what it's all about. That's what that song is all about. And Randolph is an example to guys like me that hold a grudge. Don't do that. Be thankful for what you have. Be a better person. I'm thankful. These videos we've been doing these last few months, all these people, hundreds of millions of people out there watching it on the interwebs there, it's gone virus. It's gone virus. I'm thankful for every single person that watches. I guess really the only thing to do is say happy holidays. Happy holidays from Hank Patterson. This is my client Reese. We'll be back in 2013. Unless I end up in jail. <laughs>